Hey everybody, Epic Experiments here. To today's experiment is going to be how to make Silly Putty. You're going to need some glue, a bottle of water, some food coloring, something small like a cup to put your glue in, a q-tip or popsicle stick, a bowl, and one tablespoon of borax. Borax is found at Walmart and Target for a very cheap price so you shouldn't have trouble finding that. Okay, so let's begin. First, get to your water, bo water bottle and put your borax in the water bottle. Put the cap on. You're gonna mix it up and then set it to the side. Next, get your cup or whatever you're using and pour three ounces of glue. If you don't have three ounces, um, Use as much as you can or as much as you want. You can increase or decrease. Three ounces works best though. I have about an ounce and a half because I already tried this experiment and it didn't come out right. So let's work with what I have. Alright, so I had enough glue to fill about half this cup, which is about an ounce and a half. Okay, then get any color food coloring you want and put a couple of drops and then mix it with your Q-tip or um, popsicle stick. Now you want to you want to mix it where do you see no white? So it would look come out better. I'm gonna add a couple extra drops. If you don't have food coloring, um, it's okay. You can still do the experiment. Food coloring just makes it funner and cooler to look at. Okay. Okay. Now you're going to want to fill your bowl up about halfway with your borax and water solution. You might want to mix it again, make sure it's all mixed up. Since I have a little bit less glue than last time, I'm not going to fill it as much. Okay. Now you're going to want to pour your glue in. This is actually the fun looking part. You can see, try to spread it out sort of. Like that. And this is where it comes messy. So you might want a paper towel on your body. Okay, now you have to put your hands in it and sort of mix it up. And there's going to be several little bubbles in your silly putty. You're going to have to pop them at the same time. See the bubbles? Okay. At the same time, you're going to have to get the water out of the silly putty by just squeezing it like this. And it's very sticky, as you know. It's practically all glue um, and just mix it until it becomes more of a solid and you'll know when it's done when your hands aren't 
wet from the water because the silly putty will have absorbed it. And once you're done, it's just like regular silly putty. You can um, store it in the plastic bag or a sealed container. And just like regular silly putty, you can put it on newspaper and it copies the print. As long as it's not soaking wet like mine sort of is. And that is how you make Silly Putty, everybody. Thanks for watching. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace.